Silver Skull Gamer back. Let's continuing our Betrayal at Kalth versus Burning of Prospero comparison. This is Tartarus Terminators from Prospero against Betrayal at Kalth. Um, Cataract. So obviously they both only need two sprues. So think about that. So huh, Tactical Squad is three sprues, sprue sets for fifty dollars, and your Horse Heresy Terminator sets are two sprues for sixty dollars. So material costs really have nothing to do with it. Um, but, yeah, anyways, let's not get sidetracked on Games Workshop pricing. So, we get five Terminators per set. Um, your Catapract, once again, things are laid out slightly differently. So, the Catapract guys actually come with power fists and weapon arms for their combi bolters. Remember, they don't have storm bolters yet, so everything's a combi bolter. Uh, so, we'll call it sprue one. You've got all your backside, all your chest pieces, and one, two, three, four. Now, all your legs, okay, all your legs and chests, and combi bolters, and some petrus, I don't know what you call them, the little leather dangly things, Pet petrus, petruges, something. I don't know how to say that word, it's probably French. Legs, torsos, weapons, oh, heads. The little uh, half heads for cataract armor. There they are, see them? They're just little little halfsies. Is it not in focus? Anyways, they're kind of weird. Um, so, that's one sprue. The next sprue is all arms and shoulder pads. And Cataract Terminators have a complicated, like, double-layered giant shoulder pad system. You actually got like an under pad and then the over pad, which is uh, pretty interesting. But the Cataprac guys come with lightning claws for everybody, right? So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, so you can do your Cataprac Terminators and all lightning claws, so basically all assault guys with lightning claws for 40k or your standard um, what do you call them? Tactical Terminators with combi bolters and then power fists because they have regular power fists with a couple chain fists thrown in too actually there's one, two, three, four there's actually four chain fists no there's five so that's a pretty big difference. Um, so the Cataract guys have five chain fists, five sets of lightning claws, regular power fists, and then you've still got combi bolters, and your special weapon is, where is it? A heavy flamer. Now, unlike the tactical marines, it looks like the Terminator special weapons do their style changes between marks of armor. So the Cataract Heavy Flamer is in a vertical position. Let's move those out of the way. So you see right here, it's vertical. The nozzles are vertical to each other, stacked on top. Um, the Tartaros Heavy Flamer is horizontal. So that's kind of an interesting difference. Also, just double checking, the 
cataprat guys only come with one special weapon special ranged weapon and it is the heavy flamer um, there is a power sword for the sergeant but no there's no special combi bolter with uh, what would you call it um, like flamer melted gun options this is just straight combi bolters no other fancy option the hands I'm looking at the hands uh, I'm sure the hands are a little bigger but they look like the mark 3 fists on the weapons um, they've got two little armor studs on the fists so there's that part of, I don't know where this dog hair is coming from I mean I know where the dog hair is coming from but I don't know how it got so much got inside the box anyways uh, I got outside dogs now <sighs> new house so that's your cataphract terminators right oh and the torsos are pretty detailed actually They've all got some kind of detailing on them. Uh, either like lightning or just fancy edging on the armor. On all the torsos. Let's go to our Tartaros from Burning of Prospero. It's a little different setup. So it's more modular. Um, you can do... Oops, sorry. You can do. Well, let's zoom out. Jeez. All right. You can do all lightning claws, but they're attachments. So they're they're the glue on um, old school. Well, kind of between the the cataphract lightning claws are literally claws on the fingers. These are more like the modern lightning claws, where it's an attachment to a power fist. So they do give you enough for ten. There are left and right power fists for your Tartarus Terminators. Um, like I said, the setup of the sprues is different. Your torsos are on one sprue. So all your torsos are over here, except for one, which is probably the sergeant. Oh, that's the other thing too. So they actually give you, the Tartarus set gives you one extra torso. Um, so your sergeant can have a variation. Or this one's specifically meant to be the sergeant. I don't know, but it looks like they give you, there's chance for a little bit of variety. There's also some studded armor. There's a studded leg piece. There's a studded chest piece. So you can have one guy in like all studs. There's even a studded shoulder pad. So you can have one dude rocking studs, armor studs. Or you can mix them up for a variety. I think I'm actually going to do the one dude in all armor studs. You've got your combi bolters again. They're different style. Yep, these are a different style that actually... <laughs> match up more with the Mark IV Marines, which is kind of interesting. And the Cataphract Terminators actually have like Mark III style combi bolters. Uh, oh, each set had a grenade harness. I didn't, I forgot to mention that. Each set does come with a grenade harness. Um, and the Tartarus gives you two ranged special weapons. Actually, three. Well, I don't know. Um, sorry, two ranged heavy weapons. You've got the, the Reaper-style auto cannon, which I love. Those are awesome. And you've got the Tartarus Heavy Flamer, which has a horizontal orientation to the nozzles, which is kind of different. That's kind of cool. Um, I know some people hate it or don't like it, but also your chain chain fists atta or attachments over here so you've got attachments for every you can do all chain fists the cool thing 
about the Tartarus set is, again, Burning of Prospero. It's kind of a trade-off. Your tactical marines have less customization and variation, but the Tartarus set has more customization compared to the Cataract set because you've got Plasma Blaster, Volkite Charger, the Heavy Flamer, and the Reaper Auto Cannon. So your sergeant can actually have special weapons, wherein the Cataprac guy is stuck with a plain old combi bolter. I mean, I'm looking one more time just to make sure something I didn't miss something. Yeah, so it's kind of interesting. Um, dead air, dead air. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, Tartarus guys have normal helmets which are, funnily enough, kind of Mark IV looking. Uh -huh. So you can see that guy right there. That's actually kind of a Mark IV variant helmet. Um, and their commie bolters do match up with the Mark IV bolters. I don't... It's. One of them's Umbra, one of them's Ferox. I know that. Oop, just pushed all my Dark Swords off the mat. Finish those guys up. So, again, it's... Um, they're both cool. Both have great detail. But one has more variation over the other. Um, and this time, it's flip-flop. So, the Terminators you get with... Betrayal at Kalth have less customization than the ones you get in Prospero. It was flip-flop with the tactical squads. But it's also kind of funny because the Terminators and Betrayal at Kalth really match up more to the Mark III armor of Burning of Prospero. The Tartarus Terminators of Burning of Prospero really match up better with Mark IV Marines. So that's kind of interesting as well. Um, I mean, the weapon to the weapons and the armor itself, the helmets, you know, they all kind of have some characteristics of the other or the companion armor, or I don't know how you want to say it, but you know, the cataract armor has segmented leg armor in the rear, you know, their bolters match up with the Mark III bolters. So it's kind of interesting how that works. So the, it's kind of the, the marriage of Terminators and Tacticals is kind of flip-flopped in the boxes. But uh, the Tartarus is a great set. Um, great set. It's a little more manual labor to customize them with the glue on lightning claws and chain fists but still that's cool definitely both are really good sets and the Tartarus Terminators look really good um, the GW examples on the website and stuff look really good the sergeant armor is very detailed looks great uh, his legs and his uh, chest piece just everything looks it really stands out. Uh, some people say that, you know his armor is intricate enough to be used as a HQ choice. I don't really know about that because I'm not in the 30k, but I would say I would agree with that because yes, his armor definitely sticks out. Um, it's definitely more detailed than the other guys. So that's it. So two great Terminator sets from Betrayal at Kalth and Bring of Prospero. Like I said, one's got a little more variation than the other, but um, they're both a nice change from Ind Indominus uh, 40k Terminators, for sure. Um, those do get kind of boring, putting a bunch of those together. So these are definitely nice variations. And the rules for Cataprax, I, I know those rules a little more um, for 40k. You know, they've got a 4-plus and vulnerable save, and there's something else about them, I think. Uh, I haven't actually read the 40k Tartaros Terminators 
I know there are 30 k rules. They're uh, they can sweeping advance. I know that that much. So I don't know if their invulnerable save is a you know a six or something to make up for it instead of a five. But the uh, I know there's diff there's actually rules differences between the two. So so that's what we got. Uh, maybe we'll go over the characters or something um, next, but I think for now I've just shot two videos back to back, so I got some editing to do, and then um, you know try to get these videos up for you guys to see. All right, later.